Hey guys, we are looking at some absolute value inequalities. And the purpose of this video today is to show you why when we solve these, we split off into two inequalities, okay? You've probably been doing it. Maybe you're like, I know how to do it. I get the right answer, but I just don't get why we do that, okay? So if we were trying to solve this, I know these are really simple, but it's to illustrate a point and then it applies to the more complex ones, okay? So if I were to do this with splitting it off into two, right? For the first one, I drop the absolute value bars and just keep everything the same, right? X is greater than or equal to 10. Then for the other one, I drop the bars, flip the sign, and change the sign on that number, right? So I would have x is less than or equal to negative 10, okay? And I could put that as my answer, right? And you might even know that when we have x, the absolute value of x is greater, your teacher may have told, reminded you, I know this isn't how you spell greater, but greater, that this is an or inequality, right? So there's my answer. Great. But why is that my answer? Why did we split it off into two? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and graph this on a number line. Okay. I know you love number lines. Don't leave. It's going to be good. Okay. So if I were to graph these, I would have the X can be greater than or equal to 10, right? Or X can be less than or equal to negative 10. So let's just think of that in the context of our original problem. That's telling me any number over here will work for X. So what if I plug in 100, okay? Well, the absolute value of 100 would be 100, and 100 is greater than or equal to, z to not zero, to 10, right? So there we go. All those numbers over there work, right? You can plug in any of them. But what about these negative numbers over here? Well, if I were to plug in negative 50, okay? The absolute value of negative 50 is 50, and 50 is greater than or equal to 10, right? So the reason we have that or is we have all these positive numbers, right? If that absolute value, the absolute value bars weren't there, my answer would just be x is greater than or equal to 10, right? But because the absolute value bars are there, we have to consider these negative answers that turn to positive inside the absolute value bars, okay? So that's why we have the or and why we split it off into two. But what about when we have less than, okay? We split it into two again, right? Here we go. So if I were to just do this, maybe how I've been told without necessarily knowing why it works, I would split it into two, right? X is less than or equal to 10 and X is greater than or equal to negative 10. And then I notice that this is a less than, which can kind of sound like less than, right? Maybe you've been told that, which means it's going to be an and inequality, which just as a side note, the greater and less than work when the absolute value is on the left side, okay? So I know this is gonna be an and inequality that I could write like that, or I could be a little fancy if I wanted and have it all together. I don't know if it's really fancy. And I could write it like that, right? Great, there's my answer. But why is that my answer? Well, again, let's go ahead and draw our number line, okay? So we have 10 and negative 10. And this is telling me that X is less than or equal to 10. So that would be this way, right? And x is also needs to be greater than or equal to negative 10, meaning those meet in the middle. The and tells me it needs to fulfill both of those requirements, right? Because negative 20 is less than 10, right? Less than or equal to 10. But that wouldn't work in my inequality. Negative 20, the absolute value of that would be 20, and 20 isn't less than or equal to 10, right? So it needs to fulfill both of these, meaning it is just between these two. So if I were to plug in zero, the absolute value of zero is zero, and zero is less than or equal to 10, right? So that is why we split it off into two and why we can do the greater 
and less than. I hope that made sense. I'm going to link a whole playlist with lots of examples. Obviously, they're not always this simple, right? We have things being added and subtracted and all sorts of things, but the same principle applies. Thanks.